Just got your new TP-Link Archer. See ADAC 1900 router? This powerhouse delivers blazing fast Wi-Fi speeds up to 1,900 megabits per second. Perfect for 4K streaming and gaming. Let's get it set up in under five minutes. Let's get started. Step one, router connection with modem. Connect your modem to the router's blue internet port using the included ethernet cable. Plug in the power adapter and turn on the router. Wait for the power LED to turn solid green. That means it's ready. Step two, connect and access settings. Grab your phone or laptop and connect to TP-Link underscore XX, the default Wi-Fi name on the router's label. Or use wired connection from router LAN port to laptop LAN port. Open a browser and type twinkwifi.net or use the IP address 192.168.0.1. You will get TP-Link login page first time asking to create an administrator password. Create login password and press let's get started button. The setup wizard will launch automatically. Select your time zone and press next button. Make sure your internet cable connected to TP-Link WAN port before proceeding setup. Select your internet type from static IP, dynamic IP, PPPoE or PPTP and provide internet details. Get internet details from your internet provider if you're not sure. After providing internet settings, press next button. Personalize wireless settings. Change Wi-Fi network name and set a strong password for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Always use WPA3 encryption if your device is supported. After change SSID and password, press next button. Wait while router applying settings and connecting to the internet. This may take few moments. Once you get success, message press next button. In the next steps, router will ask you to log in T-Plink Cloud account. You can skip and your configuration completed. Now open Wi-Fi settings from mobile or laptop and connect to new Wi-Fi SSID and password you configured. That's it. Your Archer C80 is now ready to deliver lag-free Wi-Fi. If this helped, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech guides. And comment below, are you using this for gaming, streaming, or work? Thanks for watching.